So today's lecture I will discuss about uh, Kohavi's algorithm. So this is another method to find out the fault in digital circuit that is Kohavi algorithm. So the path to sensitization and the Boolean difference method are become uh, practically infeasible for multiple faults even for a circuit of moderate size size okay so path sensitization or boolean difference method is difficult uh, if we consider multiple faults in all these problems we are which we taught uh, all these problems we normally consider only one fault at a time but what happens if multiple faults we need to check out at a time then those things will be fail so in order to overcome this we need to introduce in order to overcome this we introduce this thing this algorithm so this is because both the method consider only one fault at a time so the total number of fault and what number of states to be tested in each circuit with the n lines become 3 raised to n minus 1 of multiple faults are allowed suppose if n lines will be there there is a chance for 3 raised to n minus 1 multiple fault so it is very difficult to find out a multiple fault with this path sensitization and boolean difference method and the process become very hectic so kohavi and kohavi uh, proposed a method that become that becomes a method that overcomes the difficulty for test generation for multiple faults in two level networks so kohavi and kohavi in 1972 they introduced an algorithm with this help of this algorithm multiple faults can be identified easily uh, so that the technique consists of uh, determining two tests that is a test and a b test we call it as a, te a test and a b test these are the two tests comes under kohavi and kohavi algorithm so to achieve the uh, objective of providing single fault test set with the a capability of detecting all multiple stacked faults kohavi and kohavi have put three severe restrictions on a network so what is our objective we need to find out multiple faults with a test vector okay so in order to find out this multiple stacked fault kohavi and kohavi have put three severe restrictions on the network so we need to follow kohavi algorithm by giving or by implementing these three severe restrictions then only we can do this kohavi algorithm what are those severe res restrictions the network must be a two level and or 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 and network so the network must be a two level and or network or or and network then only we, we can apply this kohavi algorithm second point each and gate must realize a prime cube and third point is and or network must implement a boolean function which is a sum of irredent prime implicance irredent prime implicance means the boolean function there is no repeated prime implicance okay so these are the three severe restrictions which kohavi and kohavi put on a network in order to find out the uh, multiple fault on a network so we will get all these things clear by doing a problem so this is the question find the test vectors of all sa0 stacked 0 and stacked 1 fault of the circuit where the boolean function f x equal to x1 x2 plus x1 x3 bar x4 bar plus x2 x4 using Kohavi algorithm. So this is the question. Find the test vectors of all stacked 0 and stacked 1 fault of the circuit whose boolean function f equal to x1 x2 plus x1 x3 bar x4 bar plus x2 f4 using Kohavi algorithm. First we have to draw the circuit. So x1 x2 and so x1 x2 is given to an AND gate. Finally it is an OR gate. So another AND gate is a 3 input AND gate x1 x3 bar x4 bar so x1 x3 bar x4 r this is another AND gate and x2 x4 x2 x4 another AND gate all this gains given to an OR gate you will get uh, this expression at the output so first one is a test a test is called a stuck at a0 fault a test is normally this is the important thing a test we normally conducted in order to find out the stuck at 0 fault 
so <coughs> so here test we normally do you know to find out the sector to zero fold how to do a test and b test normally do for a sector to one fold so a test for sector to zero fold b test for sector to one fold okay so in order to find out a test means sector to zero fold first you have to draw a test uh, a column now uh, this is the min times so what is the min times here this is our expression expression is x1 x2 x1 x3 bar x4 bar plus x2 x4 so write each min time first is x1 x2 x1 x2 bar x4 bar x1 x4 so how to write the cubes this is uh, actually it is a four variable x1 x2 x3 x4 this is four variables are there so here x1 x2 that means two variables are missing here two variables are missing so what are those missing x1 is to missing so you can write it as 1 1 x1 is 2 is 1 1 and a missing x3 is 4 is missing so it can have value 0 or 1 so in, and it, x3 have value 0 or 1 x4 can have value 0 or 1 so under that condition we don't know what it was you can put either don't care or 2 so in standard notation i will written as 2 so 1 1 2 2 that means x1 is 1, x2 is 1, x3, s4 missing, so we put it as 2, 2. That means x3, s4 can have value either 0 or 1. So that's why we put it as 2 here, 2, 2. Now x1, x3 bar, s4 bar, x1 is 1, x2 is missing, so we put it as 2. x3 bar, or x3 dash, that means 0, x4 dash, that is 0, so 1, 2, 0, 0. This is the cube, we call it as a cube. So now x2 is 4 so x1 is missing so we put it as uh, 2 for x1 it is 2 x2 it is 1 x3 missing so 2 x4 is 1 so 2 1 2 1 this is the fault clear now we need to draw the k map this is x1 x2 x3 s4 this is a four variable k map so what you have to do is you have to map these cubes here okay you have to map these cubes to here so x1 is 2 1 1 and x3 s4 can have any value okay x1 is 2 is 1 1 x3 s4 means 2 2 okay that means x3 s4 can have 0 or 1 value so x3 s4 can have 0 or 1 value means these are the combinations but x1 s2 is always 1 1 only so this is the column in this column x1 x2 in this column this x1 x1 s2 can have a 1 1 value that means this is the column and under that uh, x2 s4 here s2 s4 can have any value 2 2 means it can be 0 or 1 so x3 s4 can have 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 1 0 like there any combination there comes so you can do what you have to do you have to you have to map this cube in here means this is the column which we need to take care that is you can put 1 1 1 1 here in this column clear so how to map this x1 s2 x1 s2 is 1 1 x3 s4 can have any value 0 or 1 so this is the column so here x1 s2 is 1 x2 x3 s4 can have any value so this is the column here we can fill up like this now second is so you can mark like this you put a put it as a group and this group is called a cube okay what is cube cube is nothing but set of all uh, min times you take it as a group so it is the cubes and this cube is nothing but uh, x1 x2 and it is 1 1 2 2 you have to write like this now what is the another cube x1 x3 dash x4 dash so 1 2 0 0 that means x1 can have one value but, but x2 can have one or zero value x3 s4 is always 0 0 x3 s4 0 0 means this is the row of interest okay x3 s4 how 0 0 means this is the area In, now we need to find out which column this is the row that means x3 s4 0 means this is the only row which is having x3 s4 0 now x1 x2 x1 is 1 x2 is 0 or 1 where is x1 1 here is x1 1 here is also x1 1 
Okay, x2 can have here 1 value, here 0 value. That is right now. x1 is 1, but x2 can have 0 or 1 value. So, these are the two columns, the two row, two blow, uh, two squares. See here x1 can have 1 value, here is also x1 1 value. x2 can have 1 or 0 value. So, you can put a 1 here and a 1 here. So, this cube is 1 to 0 cube is mapped to here. Okay. So you can circle like this and this circle is nothing but x1 x3 dash x4 dash within bracket 1 2 0 0 clear now another this is another cube and now the remaining cube is x2 x4 the other remaining is x2 x4 I'm gonna map him 2 1 2 1 on a cube and x1 in a 1 and 0 imaram, which x2 in 1, x3 in 1 and 0 imaram, x4 in 1. x2, x2, x4, 1, 1, where in a cube, x2 and x4, 1, 1. Here, x2, 1. Here also, x2, 1. Okay, so, you put emera, you put emera. Now, x1, x3, 0 in 1, where in a dana, x1, x3. 0 and 1 around the chances it is x1 x3 x1 x3 is 0 in the middle ok so these are the columns ok so how to find out x2 x4 2 1 2 1 that means first x1 is uh, x1 can have 1 or 0 value that means x1 have 1 this column is already filled x1 can have 0 value that is this column ok now x2 is 1 x2 is 1 means this column or this column this column already filled now this column anyhow we need to we need to fill this column but by considering the row also what is row what it is row in row it is x3 is missing so x3 can be x3 can be 0 or 1 0 or 1 and x4 is x4 is 1 ok x3 can be x3 can be 0 or 1 x4 is 1 where it is x4 1 x4 1 means this is the two columns these are the two two or two rows and here x3 can be 0 or 1 so this is the two columns so we can fill this this and this this clear you can fill in one slide the x1 x and the where under the x1 x x1 missing x2 s4 s2 s4 1 x2 is 1 x4 is 1 and 1 1 x1 is 3 2 2 that means 0 is 1 is 1 but simply you can write the combination of the combination of the combination x2 is 4 combination of the x2 is 4 combination of the x2 is 4 combination of the so that is 2 1 2 1 that is 0 1 0 1 that is 1 1 0 1 so this 2 is 0 is 1 so this 2 is 0 is 1 so that is 0 is 1 same sum both is 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 1 and orange would have a bit of another x1 x2 x3 s4 not on but there is a little on x1 x2 s3 f4 0 1 and orange x1 s2 on so remember 0 1 and orange x1 s2 so x1 s2 0 1 and orange is it s3 s4 0 1 0 1 the 0 1 0 1 x1 s2 orange 0 1 okay x1 x1 x2 x3 x4 x1 x2 x3 x4 x1 x2 0 1 x3 x4 0 1 x1 x2 0 1 x3 x4 0 1 so this column we mark it as 1 
now 1101 x1 is to 111 1, 1. s raised for 0 1 either column e column power 1 already 1 under at the other 10111 0 1 1 1 but 0 1 and orange would 0 1 1 1 1 you would have 1 1 so this color this we mark now 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 this color with the mark either okay now you can take this as a cube so this is our cube and how to mark this cube this cube is nothing but x2 x4 uh, and it is uh, 2 1 2 1 so entire cube will be marked okay now what you have to do is in here we need to find out the test vectors now so in order to drive the air test consider each cube and to make a min time that belongs to that only that only that cube that to that and only that cube that means in to drive the air test consider each cube consider each cube and to make a min time you have to find out a min time that belongs to only that cube Overlapping in the Marada, every cube of Matra and Ilkana maintains an identifier. Branoku Branoku E one E one E year cube of Matra level, overlapping lateral cube of Matra level. So this is our first minute. Okay. And what is the value of this one? This is one 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 zero. That is. Uh, 1110 what is it 14 14 11 1110 e1 overlapping on so we you can make it as a star mark another this one it is only with this cube overlapping on the where cube at on the layer cube you can mark it as star this is also star look at here here this one is also in this cube only there is no overlapping then we are going each cube mark a min time that belongs to only that cube ok so we have a 4 star mark you can write the star mark this is this star mark this one means what 1110 1, 1110 1, 1, that means 14 ok so the min time 14 is chosen for 1112 1, the first one is one one four one zero. Add the one this one this one again is a it in one zero 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 one zero this one another one zero 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 so you can mark it as one zero 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 what is it eight eight L upon um to fourteen get eight get now remaining these two okay you can take either of these two so what is this one this one means 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 so 5 or 7 so, we have to take the min time and the min time is the cube say the 14 this is the 14 14 comes under this cube so 14 is chosen for 1122 now uh, this is for 8 8 comes from 1200 so 8 is chosen for 1200 and 5 or 7 5 or 7 means this is the cube uh, 2121 so 5 or 7 is 2 1 2 1 so for a test these are the min times or the test which is 14 8 5 or 7 so for doing a test you can take this 14 8 5 or 7 min times corresponding test which is you can give now to find out the multiple fault on this circuit this is about a test now we need to find out to be test for uh, stuck to one fault that i will discuss in next lecture